Who goes there? This is my city. I do not want any intruders to come into my swamp whenever they feel they can come. I need a place to come and go whenever they want. Who are you? Kraken, can you give me a break? I'm just a crocodile that lives here and I've been living here for a long time even before you got here, so what's wrong with you? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the earlier people that came king to the swamp. What are you doing here, Piglet? I'm looking for my friends. I see my friends. I don't need to hear but I think I begin this way. I lost them. They were playing and... I don't even know what they are anymore. If you're talking about a fox and a dragon, I already ate both of them, and I'm gonna eat you as well because you are in the wrong place at the right time. I'm hungry. Hello, I'm gonna do this tutorial, and it's going to be about how to create your own CTA packages. So, I shared with you a background or different backgrounds and this is a folder pretty much that has the backgrounds and we are gonna open up in this case uh, this background right here because I like it uh, it's kind of like a horror kind of background or for you know for a swamp thing because these are swamp backgrounds so we're gonna work on this background and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tra we're gonna transfer this uh, picture into any picture editor. In this case, I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop CS6, CS6, okay? And uh, we're gonna start cutting all the pieces to make it a three-dimensional image because it's just one, one dimensional image, okay? So we're gonna go to Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna start working on it. I'll be right back. I opened up the Adobe Photoshop and as you see, I've selected the first image that I'm gonna be cutting from this background. And I'm gonna go copy, Control C, Control V. And I have that image. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that the image is already copied. And we're gonna be doing that with all the other elements that I wanna be adding to the scene and creating my own pack. And I'm going to share this pack with you, but like I said before, you know, I already shared many packs. Uh, well, I share one pack with different kinds of backgrounds. And you can animate the backgrounds and you can make it a three-dimensional. And this is the way we're going to do it, a three-dimensional background. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting all other parts. And then I'm going to show you how this is going to look like. Uh, once I finish doing this, and once again, I'm using Adobe Photoshop version CS6, number six. It's an old version, but that's the one that I'm very comfortable with and, and that I know. And that's what I'm using. You can use so, something else like Adobe Illustrator or any other kind of uh, picture editor that you want. I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, now I'm gonna show you that I made another cut and I'm gonna show you which one it is. It's pretty much the top of the cover or the trees. And that's how it looks like. Okay, so this is how we're going to create a three dimensional scene. Okay, so I already have two elements and I'm going to hide this again and I'm going to show you the other one that I have already. I have those two elements which are in the foreground and then we know that the cavern or whatever it is, uh, the swamp and uh, the landscape at the back, you know, uh, it's a three dimensional. So. Uh, it's going to be a three dimension so we need to get those elements that are in the foreground we need to get them um, cut them from the picture and put them in the front and i'm going to continue doing this because there's other two elements this one right here and this one right here so i'm going to cut them and i'm going to put them in the front as well i'll be right back what we're going to be doing right now if you're in adobe photoshop you're going to be hiding all the layers but remember that when you start a project the first layer is going to have like a little lock and you have to unlock it so that you can actually uh, delete whatever is in the background and make it transparent. So right now I'm just showing each copied uh, element that I cut from the picture and I'm going to select the element. I'm going to go to the layer where the element is. In this case, this one, I mean the right layer. All the other layers are hidden and I'm going to select that I'm going to copy, Control C. I'm going to go to new 
let me I'm gonna amplify the screen I'm gonna create a new one I'm gonna create a new a new project and here it is so you see the first layer is the background and it has a lock that that lock you have to get rid of it and you double click on that if you are using Adobe Photoshop and you go OK now it's unlocked now you can select the background and you can delete it and you have a, a transparent background now I'm going to increase a little bit the size of the canvas uh, we're going to see the canvas size for the width is 1.2 I'm going to make it 2 it's going to be a little bit big but it's okay and then the other one I'm going to make it a 1 okay so now we can save this file save us I'm going to uh, save the PSD document the Photoshop document as rock swamp rock 3 because I already saved two of them and now I'm going to go and make it a transparent uh, PNG save us and we go here we find the PNG format which is this one right here and it's already swamp rock 3 okay save and I put it right here in the first one which is non fast where it says compression and it's okay and let me go back to this I'm gonna close that window I'm gonna show all the elements again okay and then I'm, we're, we're gonna open up our project okay so I'll be right back and I'm going to start dropping all the elements. Just give me a second. Now, as you can see, I already saved a folder and I'm going to be sharing this with you. So I'm going to open up that folder, which is this one right here. And we're going to drop the elements. OK, so we're going to drop this one. I'm going to go to Crazy Talk Animator and we're going to put it as a prop. OK and then we're gonna make it a little bit bigger something like that uh, if I, you see the thing is that since i already have this element separate what i can do is i can put whatever background i want okay so i'm just gonna put it there and i'm gonna drop the other elements the rocks okay i'm gonna start with that rock over here just gonna drop it and as a prop we want it as a prop okay it's gonna be, make it a little bit bigger there you go and we go to the other element right here the second rock as a prop as well and make it a little bit bigger okay we'll go to the last one that's the thing you see when you have a you have these as as uh, pictures you can just drop them however you want oh okay. let me take i chose the wrong one i uh, wanted to choose this rock okay it's a prop and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger there you go and we can drop the background let's see we are gonna go back we're gonna find the background which is this one right here and we're gonna drop the background right there as a prop too we're gonna make it bigger now you see uh, it's covering all the elements but it's okay because we're gonna put this at the back you see that the beautiful thing about this is that since I already have the picture and the elements separated then I can place the elements in whatever order I want, but I make sure that the picture you put them all the way at the back, okay? And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to have space so that you can put the avatar in the front. And um, once it's at the back, then you can make it bigger. Just drag the corners to make it look a little bit bigger. You see, we have all the elements already here in the scene, like this one right here. We can place it anywhere we want in the scene. And it's going to be at the front we can amplify or magnify this also 
now we have like two different effects you see um, if we wanted that or if we wanted to match it we can actually match that to to our background okay it's just about play it's just uh, we need to play with this uh, let me see okay there you go so that's matching pretty much kind of you see the background but I'm gonna put it right here I think I like it this way it's gonna give it more more depth more effect um, something like this maybe and then we use our camera right here at the top in, in this line the first one we use our camera so that we can see what's going to be showing you in the shot so we see that our background is not going to be showing so we're going to make it a little bit smaller there you go now it's showing in the shot okay and it's part of the foreground in a way that we can put it all the way to the back you see it disappeared over there so we can put it at the front like this because we still need uh, the space for the avatars we can start moving the other elements we go over here let me show you to the right ha right hand panel at the bottom of the right hand panel you have the content and the scene manager okay or the the content manager okay which is where you can find all your files you know like props avatars you know things like that and you have the scene manager which is what whatever we have in the scene so i have my rocks right here so i know which ones i can move i can select each element that i want to be moving let me see why then i can place them um, whatever i want like that rock i can make it just disappear and put this rock on top instead um, we can resize the rock I'm gonna leave it as it is right there, right there. It's, it looks good. We have this other rock, let me see. That other rock right here, which is this one right here, so we can resize that too. Okay. Or we can make it even bigger, you know, than what it should be, something like that, if we wanted to. That's a beautiful thing about having these as elements, you see separate elements then we uh, can get the other one let's see oh that's a scene okay no the last rock right here we can put it put it right there okay it's looking good so I forgot this other element the one in the middle so I'm gonna go get it and I'll be right back okay i finished the last one and i put it placed it in the scene and as you can see it's right here i resized it just to kind of fit the picture at the background and since the picture at the background is way f far at the back you know i can move this to the back too as well you see until it disappears when it disappears it means that it went past through the the picture so we can place it whatever we want you know like if i place it over there and just kind of put it where that goes and, and now we're gonna place an avatar and we're gonna make the avatar walk through or i'm just gonna move the image i'm not gonna make it walk through the entire scene but I, i'm just gonna show you how the avatar is gonna look in this three-dimensional because now we have a 3d picture not a 2d picture or or picture you know so i'll be right back Jeez. Now, as you can see, I added the avatar to the scene and we can put it in the foreground or in the background. Okay, if I put it in the background and make it, wanna make it bigger, just resize it. You wanna make it like a giant, scary monster or something like that, you can do so, okay? And you just wanna, you wanna make sure that the elements are in the right place so that it looks uh, correct in regards to the scene and you can just go ahead and animate it in this case i just put a little bit of voice so i'm gonna show you what i did just give me one second i'm gonna get rid of this first who dares to come to this swamp 
this is my swamp, it's my territory, and I'm not going to let anyone just come whenever they feel like coming. Okay, but like I say, you know, you have to play with it. You need to resize it, make it look uh, whichever way you want, okay? Um, I'm just going to resize it, make it look a little bit smaller. So I'm not going to put it, like, if he's hiding or coming out of these uh, caves, okay? And that's pretty much what, what you're going to be looking at the shot. If you want the shot to be a little bit more uh, bigger in regards to the scene, that you want to see a little bit more of the panorama of the scene of the swamp, then you would need to uh, push the elements back or select all the elements and then just... Because remember, right here at the top, we selected the camera. If I get rid of the camera, that's a shot that's going to be showing if I render this. But since I use the camera, that's the shot. Whatever you see within this transparent, or not transparent, but these lines, okay, in this uh, rectangle, that's what's going to be showing in the final render. So just do whatever you want. Uh, like I showed you before, you can do your own packs. I'm going to be sharing this pack with you, including the avatar I'm going to share with you. You can add movements to the avatar and, you know, all the avatars and do whatever you want with this scene. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this package.